the possibilities are limitless. Don't let anything hold you back. You're going to have to fight, but you can be supported. Breaking barriers and giving other people an opportunity. That's what one local woman is trying to do. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell continues our celebration of Women's History Month. She joins us live at Nostalgia Coffee Roasters Cafe in Torrey Hills. Marie, the coffee I'm guessing is, is pretty delicious. It looked like you were trying some earlier, but the mission behind all of this is even more delightful. Jared, I got to say the coffee is delicious, but you know, we actually first met Taylor Fields a few years ago when she first started her coffee brewing business. This cafe that we're at, this is her latest addition, but throughout this entire experience, her mission has been the same and it's much more than just a cup of coffee. A few years ago, Taylor Fields was standing in a different room doing a different job. Boiling water in there. She used to be an accountant. Now she's an entrepreneur who's doing something she loves. Was just obsessed with the science, art, taste, flavors of coffee. But the road to this career change wasn't easy. Starting your own company, being a gay woman, none of it is easy. Life has never been easy. But Taylor wasn't just determined to make things work. She wanted to create change. This coffee is from Mexico and the women there. Something she says sets her company, Nostalgia Coffee Roasters, apart from the rest. What we're really doing is using coffee here as a catalyst for systemic change, uh, for really a more equitable, inclusive, diverse and sustainable coffee industry. As she learned more about the business of brewing coffee from start to finish, she began to notice the challenges other women faced. Only 15 percent of the world coffee farms are owned by women, but 99% of coffee is touched by women. That's why her company seeks to work specifically with other women, making a financial investment to uphold her company's mission. Forever, we're going to give 5% of our revenue directly back to producers, no matter what. So top line number, no matter how we do, we've got to make up for all the inequities that have taken place. And as she expands her business of brewing specialty coffee, using coffee beans from all over the world to making coffee in a tea bag, she hopes her story inspires the younger generation of girls to fight for what they believe in. We're capable of doing anything we want and, and follow your passion and, and do what makes you happy and you'll be successful no matter what. So in 30 minutes, we'll talk to Taylor live as she looked towards the future and how she wants to continue to help women. And as you notice, we're both wearing the green. It is St. Patrick's Day. So we'll also have a sneak preview at some of their specials for today.